Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, I le mandé un mensaje de audio por WhatsApp. Nah, okay, mister. All right. I will check it. Thank you, teacher. All right. Give me a second. All right, good evening, everyone. Diana, Hanuya, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, Nubia. Good night. <laughs> How are you today? Uh, yesterday. Good. good. Uh, yesterday, not that good, but today, good. I can say good. Yesterday, yesterday why, teacher? Ah, uh, it's because I had an emergency uh, yesterday night. So that, oh. yes, that's why we did not have classes yesterday. Wow, all day. Uh, no, it was it was in the afternoon, basically at, at about five in the afternoon. Okay. Yes, the thing is that my mother got sick so i had to wow. take, i had to take it to take her to the hospital wow but she it's good yeah today? yeah thanks god she's she's okay now she, she, she feels good wow. she feels well now yeah but wow. it was like kind of hard moment because i had to go in a hurry and I just called that I was not available uh, for for the class. Yes, that was like 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 a hard moment, but thanks God she's she's good she's well now. Yeah, but tell me how yeah how how are you been? How was your day? Fine. Fine. Really? Fine. Yes. Did you work today? Um no. Ah, <laughs> Today, no, but, but I go to my uh, parents in the morning at uh, su supermarket. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. I I go with uh, with con ellos. Ah, you uh, went, you went with them. Yes, I with. I went with them. I went with them. Okay. Ah, okay, that's great. It's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, how about you, Carla? Are you there, Diana? Apparently they are not there. Ah no, Jonathan is there. Jonathan is coming. Hi Jonathan. How's everything? Hi teacher. Um it's the same. The same? The same? <laughs> How was your day? Was he tired? Good night, teacher. Good night, Jonathan. Just working, Jonathan. Ah, cool. Yeah. Good. Is it raining there by the place where you live? What? Is it raining? Oh, okay. Really? No. Yeah, because yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah, because here yesterday was like a nightmare. It was raining a lot. A lot. That okay. yeah, was like super heavy. Ah, oh, but, but that's 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 pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, hi, Diana. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I have a dinner. <laughs> ah, okay. Enjoy it, Diana. Provecho. No se preocupe. <laughs> provecho, Thank you. Provecho. All right, good. Ah, Ever is coming. Hi, Ever. 
You look fresh today. Hi, everyone. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How was your day ever? Uh, full of work, but I'll be here. <laughs> ready for the class. Ready for the class? That's good. Yeah. That's, that's what I, I, I was expecting. That, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, thank you. All right, good. So who else is there? Let's see. Ah, uh, Fatima is coming. Eric is, is, is there, but he's, he's eating too. Okay, that's pretty much. Uh, so people, we're gonna start with, uh, let me see, we get the attendance list, because we got a lot of things to do today. Uh, one of the things that we got for today, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, a uh, part of uh, the check-in of the homework that we were missing the previous class, all right? Let's remember that yesterday we couldn't, we couldn't be in the class, but today we're like focusing on that, on, on the class that we were supposed to have yesterday. So it means that tomorrow we will finish week number three, okay? By tomorrow we will finish not by today because the yesterday's class was canceled right because of uh, you know like the, the, the issues i told you but like right now we are gonna start with the things and the topic that we were supposed to be discussing last night all right yesterday but uh let's just start with the attendance list by today so give me a second, I'm gonna put this in here. Ana Claribel. Hmm, no, here. Okay, Ana Maria is neither here. Diana Gabriela. Present teacher. Ah, okay, thank you. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ever de Jesus. Present. All right. Fatima Alejandra. Present teacher. All right. Very nice. Let me see. Floridalia is not here. Hilmar Cruz. All yeah, right. It's not coming yet. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay. Yeah. Carla Benazir. Present teacher. Okay. Perfect. Natalie Vanessa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. She's not there. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Romeo Alexis. No there. Rosa del Carmen. No there yet. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Ah, hi, Roxana. <laughs> hi, teacher. Good to see you, Roxana. <laughs> All right, Salvador Alfonso. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Salvador is not yet. Not here yet. Sara Carolina. Hmm. Not here yet. Stephanie Lisette. Not yet. William Alberto. He's not here yet. Joanny Noemi. Oh my God, everyone is like missing yet. And uh, Stephanie Janet. Present teacher. Hey, hi, Stephanie. Hi. <laughs> All right. Good ah, evening. Hi, good, good evening, Hilmer. Now you're here. I'm going to put it here in the attendance list. Let me see, Hilmer. Okay. Got it here. Okay, so we're going to start with the things that we got for tonight. Remember that we got a pending activity from the previous class that you were supposed to start now, okay? And as I was saying, listen, by tomorrow, we will finish this week number, uh, number three, okay? Uh, we were supposed to finish today, but since we did not have the class from yesterday, so we will finish tomorrow. But listen, people, if you got if you got homework 
from the platform that you are like behind and you have not finished, please let's finish it by tomorrow, okay? Because as, as you remember, I need that homework to, to send it, okay, to the INSA form. So that's why I'm going, uh, I'm going to be like kind of strict with you on that aspect. So please, if you have not completed the homework by tomorrow, let's do it, okay? Let's do it. I know most of you have already done it. There are just few people that are missing, but please, please finish the homework by tomorrow. So we're gonna start in a second. I'm gonna close one thing. Before starting to this topic, which is the video conference, uh, number 14, uh, actually the topic for tonight is pretty interesting. It talks about good etiquette at the workplace. That's gonna be the topic for tonight. Good etiquette at the workplace. So we're gonna see what is that about. We're gonna do some examples. We're gonna uh, talk about uh, the etiquette that you got in your workplace. And we're gonna read uh, some things that you got in the manual. Uh, today's class is mostly focused on the manual, right? Because on the manual is the most vocabulary and the most things that we're gonna have for tonight, okay? But before starting with that, as always, we are going to start with, the class agenda. Give me a second. The class agenda. And these are like the main things that we got for tonight. Listen, we have the review from the previous class. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna start with a review from the previous class, the class that we got the day before yesterday. Yeah, the day before yesterday. And then we're gonna check the previous homework. Ah, luego del pequeño repaso que tengamos de la clase, vamos a comenzar con el desarrollo de la tarea que quedamos pendientes. If you remember, we just wrote all right, the email, but we didn't read it. Today, we're gonna read it. After that, we're gonna uh, talk a little bit about what is a good etiquette, okay? Uh, then we're gonna start reading uh, some reading exercises, all right? And we're gonna check the grammar of those exercises. And at the end, we're gonna work in the manual. That's pretty much what we have for tonight. Esos son como los puntos principales que tenemos para esta noche. Oh, who's sending me this, this thing? Come on, come on, Mrs. Posada. Are you serious? Perdón. <laughs> no. Oh, my Estoy God. en algo, teacher. Ah, okay. Hasta ahora, yo sí como que, okay. <laughs> Dijo algo, teacher. Ah, yes. Hasta ahora me envió la foto. <laughs> la foto. Yes. Ah, no, fíjese que desde ayer ya lo tenía hecho desde que terminó la clase. <risa> Pero lo que pasa es que lo transcribí hasta ah, una tarde. Ah, porque okay. estaba bien fea, entonces por eso se lo mandé más o menos así, por eso. <risa> Pero desde ayer la tenía ya terminado desde ah, que terminó yeah. la clase. Uh -huh. Ah, no, sí. desde antier, entonces. Sí, perdón, desde antier. Ayer <risa> okay. no tuvimos clase de cierto. Yes, yeah, si tienes a clase sí. yesterday. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What's up, Salvador? You look angry, Salvador. What happened? Pesado, teacher. Pesado, pesado. Ah, okay, mister. No me diga a Eric que no le ponga mucho trabajo. Al revés lo estoy dando ahí, mamá. Uh, okay. Good. Pon eh, lo que pasa es que también vamos eh, cambiando de sistema. Entonces él va viendo todas las tiendas, van cambiando. Entonces nosotros igual son las humanas acumulando más actividades. Uh, interesting. 
kind of heavy then. Yeah, kind of hard. Okay, but anyway. A eso, a eso que dice Salvador, súmale que vienen aperturas de nuevas sucursales. Ah, really? Sí. New really. Openings, new openings. New openings. Very good. Eh. That's, that's really good yeah. for the company and more work for you. Yes, my, more, more work. Yeah, okay. more work. That's, that's nice. That's nice. But is it? Que también vaya. Es 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 que ahorita están cambiando el sistema. La mayoría va. Ajá. Cada semana van cambiando el sistema. Uno, dos, hay nuevas tiendas. Y tres, las antiguas tiendas están pasando un nuevo formato de tienda. Oh, okay, you got a lot of things to do. There. <laughs> yes. Mm. You got a lot of things. Y lo y lo mismo nosotros lo hacemos y son cuatro sociedades, mm. un grupo corporativo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Salvador. <laughs> but anyways, at least we got jump. That's really good. That's really good. All right. So sí. let's start, people. Let's start with, uh, with, uh, with the, the development of the homework that you were supposed to bring for tonight. And then we're going to start with the main topic. All right. And I'm going to start with, let me see who's going to be the first one. I'm gonna start with Ever. Ever, can you please be so kind? And we're gonna open it with you and read your, your email to us, please. My email. Yeah, your email. Only read? Yeah, just read, just read. Give me one second. I, I search this. Okay. 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 This is this is to Malcolm that sonen. No, como se decía arroba. At. At, es verdad. Yes. Malcolm, Malcolm at sonen dot com. Mm -hmm. The subject. It's tracking 23, 25, 27, 2, IT3. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mr. Malcolm. Please let me know what time the order arrives to send you the... No, <laughs> sorry. Please let me know what time the order arrives to send you the invoice. I hope your comments. Beds triggered. And the sign ever can drive sales representative corporation. Okay, very good, Ever. Thank you. All right. Okay. That really represents a very, very formal all right, email. Okay, good. Novia, your turn. Okay, teacher, you said email or Actually, yeah, I checked it. Oh, sí. Yes, of course. Ah, okay. Okay. To Ana Garcia at Gmail. Subject, reward our clients loyal. Dear Ana, at the last meeting, it was agreed to send each of our clients a gift for their loyal attachment to the to this email, I send a list of each of the clients for you to review. Best regards, Nubia Cortez, customer service. My telephone number is 7489378. Okay, very good, Nubia. Okay. You did it excellent. Thank you. Now, okay. uh, let's see, Carla. Your turn. Okay, teacher. I may corrige, por Go on. Okay. Uh, uh, corporation um, at that com and the subject general information for exporters. Uh, there, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sporting. I hear we want to information you that when shipping containers via, please, 
place the BL corresponding to each container so that it can be location faster. Okay. Best rigor, um, Mrs. Jessica. Um, no sabía cómo ponerle gerente general. General manager. General manager. Eso no le puse. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was missing that. Right, general manager. That's, that's okay. One. All right. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Mrs. Janet. Let's go on. Okay. So, a meeting of employees to discuss morning laudering. Dear partner, I am happy Romeo Rodriguez to inform you that tomorrow there is a meeting on morning laudering in the company and it is necessary to have your presence. It is not too much to tell you that we have your valuable presence. Beth Rigard, Stephanie Posada, secretary. Ah, okay, very good. <laughs> thank you. Very good. All right, thank you, Stephanie. All right, now, Hilmar. Okay. Uh, to William. Uh, to William Rodriguez at mail.com. Subject. Okay. Vacation request for September. Dear Mr. Rodriguez, I would like to request a vacation from Monday, September 9th to Friday, September 13th. Okay. I will I will make sure to complete all my current projects and pending tasks in advance before the vacation. My colleagues Carlos and Ivan will cover my responsibilities during my absence. Looking forward to you approval. Sincerely, Gilmar IT support. Okay, very good, Gilmar. Thank you. Okay, now Salvador, for yours. Okay, 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 Salvador. All right, Salvador. Eric, let's go on. Good evening. Good evening. I may to uh, Sarah Jimenez. S. Jimenez or at mail.com. Subject, e commerce business. Dear Sarah, it is necessary to review the progress for the implementation of the online sale. Please document the progress for tomorrow, for tomorrow's meeting. Best rigor, rigors, Eric Herrera, IT department. IT department. Huh? Okay, very yeah, good. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome, now, teacher. Let's see who's next. Fatima. Okay. To Ana Maria Aguilar at mail.com. Subject. Meeting of the implementation new accounting software. Dear Ana Maria Aguilar, I attached the date basis of the client for the new software. Please share with the team. I will greatly appreciate. Thank you. I'll, I will wait your comments. Best rigors. Fatima Alejandra Centeno, assistant account. Okay, very good, Fatima. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan. Ah, you got it, Salvador? Okay. All right. First, first, Salvador, and then you, Jonathan. Ah, Salvador, continue. Okay. Uh, 
Teacher. Ajá, yo le da. Yo no estuve en la clase pasada. No me pude conectar. Ah, yeah, that's true, right? Creo que estuvo un par de minutos, ¿cierto? Y luego como que tuvo problemas. No, no, no. No, no se no conectó de una. Ah, no me conectó. Okay. All right, all right. Forget about it, gentlemen. Sorry, guys. You were not there. All right. Ah, uh, Salvador, let's continue. Okay. Subject phrase update. Today is day a review of the articles that are registered in Grupo Lemos. Uh, is main correct of. Thank you. I'm still attentive to your comments. Tres Rogers, Salvador Cortés, Abro, El Salvador. Now, S A O V. Okay, very good, Salvador. Thank you. Now let's see who's next. William. Are you there, Mister? Okay. All right, let's go on. Um, a Hilma Dow Gmail point com. All right, that com. Very good. That com. Mm -hmm. Subject products. Products. Okay, assume. Assume. Dear Hilma. My name is William Rodriguez, and I am waiting to request some information about the your products. I am very interested, interested in buying the new jacket you launched this season. Could you please see me, save me? Additional information about the material and size. And really, I could not find them in your website. I would appreciate, 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 appreciate uh -huh. if you could attach some pictures of your new fall winter collection. Thank you, William Rodriguez. Okay, very good, William. I think, okay. and then William Rodriguez. Very good. Okay, Natalie, we're gonna give the welcome in by reading your email. Hola, teacher. Hi. Es <laughs> Stephanie no se ha conectado. Bueno, pues yo le voy a leer lo que yo hice. Yes, Richards and Stephanie. Espérame, teacher. Espérame, teacher, de que este ahorita se va a desactivar la cámara porque voy a ver la, el, 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 okay. el correo okay. que hice. Ok. Ok. No problem. Vaya. Eh, sería eh, from Natalie Martínez. Bueno, arroba no sé cómo se dice. At at gmail.com that com that com ah, ok eh, sería dear Stephanie como querida Stephanie o oh, es no estimada era eh, sería recuse their help if liquidating client tax credits flower shop Client requires they can be sent. Ay, no, teacher, quizás se lo voy a compartir mejor para que se me vaya corrigiendo. No, ah, ok, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh -huh. I must stop sharing them. All right. Okay, let's okay. start now. Okay. Bueno, no sé si voy a verlo. Ah, yes, now. Now we can. Let's. Okay. 
So let's read it again. Okay. Uh, dear Stephanie, recuse their help in liquidating client tax credits flower shop. S A. I no sé cómo se pronunciaría, teacher. I, uh, no, that's, that's like, like the same. D E C V. D E así, o sea, letra por letra. Yes, yes. Okay. Like time. Client requires they can be. Esa palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Hey, let me see. They can be settled. 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 Mm -hmm. This day in its entry, the internal audit. I look forward to your prompt help. Greetings. 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 Nah, okay. What is greeting in that case, Natalie? Salud. Nah, okay, very good. Yeah, like mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect, Natalie. Thank you. Let me totally check that. All right, let me see who else is getting into it. Romeo is on the way home, so he's in bus, in the bus, so he cannot read it. So, but probably at the end, more people which, that they might be connected, uh, we can continue with that. So let's start with the things that we got for tonight. Let's start up. Uh, in here, I just bring just like general information because like the main information in which we're gonna be working on Tonight is in the manual, okay? In the manual, there is a big article in there that we need to read and that we need to understand. And the activities that we're going to have, it's going to be there, right? They are going to be there. All right, let's start up. This is the topic that we got for tonight. Good etiquette, all right? But in order to understand what is etiquette, we got this short definition. Fatima, help me out reading, please. The known etiquette describes the requirements. All right, all right. Describes the requirements. Describes the requirements of behaviors according to each aspect of society. Society. So, society. 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 Now, okay, good. In the other, uh, in the other world, it was behavior. Okay. Behavior. Like the word behavior is like conductas or comportamientos, right? That's behavior. Okay, people. Have you ever heard this word before? Etiquette? What do we understand by etiquette? Yeah, do you have any idea what is this about? Tenemos idea de qué significa o alguna vez han escuchado esa palabra? Etiquette? Hmm, still thinking on it. Nobody? Is that etiqueta or was it? Ah, but what do you understand by that, Stephanie? Buenos modales, teacher. Mm -hmm. No, okay, good manners. Or it's like, a, uh -huh. it's like it's like when we are going to the rest, some restaurant, the the etiquette we can use for the correct use of the. Tenedores or cucharas. Fox, all right, and then spoons. Yeah, yeah. Es donde yo, es donde yo lo he escuchado. La etiqueta que se tiene que cubrir a la hora de, de ir a un... Ah, to a, a restaurant. Un, o algún evento especial. Ah, para, uh -huh. yeah. uh, ah okay, yeah. Uh, just keep that in mind, that there, there is etiquette for every aspect in your life. For your work, 
for the place where you study, even for this class, we got an etiquette. You know that? We got an etiquette for most of the things or aspects that we do. And it's likely similar to what you were saying. Okay, let's move on and we, we will see what it talks about. We got some questions to discuss. Listen, the first one is, is the word etiquette family, familiar to you? It's like the one that you're saying, right? It's like buenos morales, like, like etiqueta, like for things like that, okay? And it depends, as I told you, every aspect of the society, of the group etiqueta, that you're in. El, el bolo de la familia. <laughs> what is that, Hilma? <laughs> <laughs> likely like that uh, likely similar to that William. yeah and look at Eric he's enjoying that <laughs> okay this is, the, this is the Salvadorian etiquette yeah actually yeah the Salvadorian one <laughs> okay okay let's continue with that we got a second question uh, let's see Carla help me on reading this one please Okay, uh, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important? Why? Nah, okay, thank you, Carla. Okay, listen to the first question. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. In the case, uh, when we talk about etiquette, we are talking about good manners at work, okay? For example, uh, let's see who can tell me. Let me see. I'm gonna start with Hilmar. Hilmar, what is a good etiquette? Or, or, or can you please mention two two good etiquettes that you got in your workplace? If you compare like etiquette with good manners, is the way you behave and the way you should behave. In my workplace. Uh... Yes. Good worker or bad worker? Ah, you, you as a person. Personal. Yeah. Um, that you have in your workplace. Responsibility. Responsibility? See? No, yeah. okay, that's one of them. You need to be responsible, right? What happens if you're irresponsible, Hilmar? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You suffer a you suffer a penalty, right? No, okay. Besides, okay, besides that, what else would you got as, as a good etiquette, Hilmar? What repeat one, please? Okay, and besides that. What else do you have as a good etiquette at your workplace? Did you mention another one? Las etiquetas que utilizan aquí en el trabajo. Yes, the one. You 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 gave me one. All right. Yeah. ¿Cómo se llama? Eh... Se me fue la palabra, pero aquí se utiliza mucho, eh, bueno, ser, ser creativo. Be creative. Sí, creativo. No sé si es una etiqueta. In a somehow, yes, in a somehow, because you were supposed to be creative in order to, to, to have a good performance in your work. No, okay, no ellos, ellos me dejan bastante eso aquí porque de repente un productor de, 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 de un X programa dice no este es aburrido mm. es más eh, creativo hace utiliza más recursos o hace uso bien de los recursos uh -huh. y ese no va a ser lo clásico ya yeah, de clásico es, es muy marcado aquí mm, ok all right ok thank you Hilmar let's see ah uh, well William what is part of a good etiquette that you got in your workplace? Okay. Uh, uh, 
good presentation. Ah, okay, that one is uh, all right. You got to have okay. a very good presentation. Okay, uh -huh. uh, friendly, friendly. Uh, um, yes. Friendly, you as per be friendly. That that's what you mean. Friendly, uh huh. Friendly. Ah, okay. That way is be friendly. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're not friendly, everybody is going to hate you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, customer service. Uh, attention. Nah. Okay. All right. Okay. That's included. Thank you, Willie. Yeah, that's okay. part. That's part of a good etiquette, especially the presentation. Okay, because you are not going to go to work using shorts, using t-shirts, using sandals, right? For men, especially, right? So in that case, that is not part of a good etiquette. All right, Eric, can you mention some of, of other etiquettes that you got in your workplace? Okay, to sure. Um, be polite. Permítame que está saludando a los vecinos, la perrita. Maintain a good work environment. Uh -huh. And, and mm, tenía otra en mente. Bueno, uh, to be on time. Mm -hmm. and uh, in the workplace to be on time ah, that's a really good one too right would you need to go or to be on time in your workplace and what happens if you're not on time huh. they might hire you no 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 they won't hire you again they will fire you okay okay all right and part of a good etiquette like that as you were saying eric it help you out to promote in your company, or at least to have a promotion, right? Imagínese si se porta mal y siempre llega tarde, y hay una, like, like, si hubiera puesto una promoción in there, usted sería el último en, en escoger, <laughs> right? Dice que se dio el caso que una vez a las ocho y... Y 10, 8 y 20, creo que fue el gerente general. Dio la orden que vio que, que, que faltaban varios. Dio la orden que cerraran. Y el que, el que llegara tarde tenía que hablar primero con él. <laughs> fue interesante yeah, eso. And everybody were like, 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 uh, like talking, but cautiously, cautiously. Huh. No, fue bien, fue los que no tenían una razón justificada. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, uh, my bed and I got a good relationship, I will say. And uh, my bed didn't let me to wake up early. <laughs> no, that, that, in that case, it, it must be like kind of difficult to face a situation like that. Hmm. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Y estoy ahí queriendo observar y escuchar. <laughs> ah, that, 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 that's become curious. All right. Ana María wanted to say something. Hi, Ana María. Hi, teacher. How are you, Ana María? Me estaba acordando, eh, un tiempo, hubo un tiempo cuando yo trabajaba en una institución gubernamental, gubernamental mm. y hubo un cambio de gobierno. Ah. Entonces, para ese entonces, Como querían fregar a todos los que estaban anteriormente, dijeron es que quienes llegaran tarde iban a sacar un récord y les iba a descontar. ¿Quiénes creen que llegaron más tarde y a quiénes fueron los que más les descontaron? ¿A los viejos o a los nuevos? A los que dijeron eso. A los nuevos. O sea... Cuando se dieron cuenta que los que ya teníamos muchos años de estar ahí y todos los días, ocho de la mañana, ocho de la mañana, ocho de la y cuando vinieron a ver que los pagos y donde se vieron afectados más eran los nuevos, bien bonitos se sentían de todo lo que les descontaba. Mm. 
Y nosotros, pues, como ya era un hábito de llegar temprano, pues llegábamos temprano. Así que la, la etiqueta de tardista la tuvieron ellos. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that happens sometimes. Yes. That's why sí. when you got a problem and you think that you're getting late to your work, that's why you got to call and provide a reason, a justification why you're getting late, right? To justify why you're getting late. Yeah, that's part of a good etiquette, as you're saying. <laughs> that's funny. That's really funny, though. Yeah, I mean, entering at eight to, uh, to, to the work is not that, it's not that early. I don't know why people get late. In my case, I start working at 6.50 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got to go very early from my work, from, from my house to the work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's continue with this. So check this out. Uh, no, yeah, help me read in the last part. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, excuse me. Please, you're welcome. Uh -huh. Good morning, pleasure uh, meeting you. Mm -hmm. Ah, pleasure meeting you. Okay, and read the question, please. Oh, yeah. Hola. And read the question. Oh, okay. Is etiquette important in our daily lives? Lives. Lives. Okay, thank you, Noya. Okay. Is etiquette really important in our daily lives? Natalie? What do you think? Hola. Hola, teacher. Hi. Um, una etiqueta. Eh, no, in general, listen. Is etiquette uh -huh. important in our daily lives? But etiquette in general. Sí, es importante. Uh -huh. um, la verdad es que tal vez en, en algunos aspectos sí, pero en el otro no. Chao. Oh. Ajá. Por lo menos en cuestión de trabajo, quizás sí, teacher. Pero también una etiqueta quizás puede dañar a una persona. Yo lo veo así, ve que en otros aspectos. ¿Cuál, Natalie? Um, como por ejemplo, cuando, cuando etiqueta a una persona, digamos, no sé, así como que le, que le, ¿cómo le puedo explicar? Como que... Eh, le etiquetan como una persona que no es, por decirlo así, pues. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get what you're saying. O sea, quizás en algunos aspectos sí, sí, sí o sea, una etiqueta, eh, bueno, en cuestión de trabajo sí lo veo así como que normal, pues. Pero, wow. pero, ajá, pero quizás en otros aspectos sí es más. O sea, también es como que... Uno ¿Eh? debe de, de cuidar, o sea, como del cómo va a etiquetar a una persona. Ajá, ok. Uh, uh -huh. Natalie, Natalie do, you Hola. Have, do, you have, do you think, do you have etiquette in a somehow in your house? ¿Cómo? Do you think, do you have a good etiquette in your house? ¿Que si he pensado? No, uh, do you have a, a good etiquette in your house? Ah, uh, sí. <laughs> yes? Sí. Ajá. Uh, Porque no creo. <laughs> All right, what do you usually do in your house when you, when you go back from work? Um... No sé, teacher. <laughs> no le entiendo todo, teacher. No sé. Ah, okay, okay. For example, listen, listen. Part of a good etiquette, because remember, we got etiquette as an everything, everything you do. For example, if I come home 
from my work and I see my wife cooking, so I am the one who serves the food. That is having a good etiquette. For example, like if I am eating and I receive a call when I am eating and I say like, I'm sorry, I had to answer. That is part of a good etiquette, okay? That is part of a good etiquette. What is that? To, to show how educated you are in situations like that, okay? So part of a good etiquette is like having good manners. And you know what is good manners? Good ways to behave, all right? And we know that uh, as Salvadorians, we know that como ser una persona educada, like for everything, all right? Que si va a pasar a alguien, all right? Si va a pasar enfrente de alguien, hacia, no sé, hacia dentro de un cuarto or something, you say, excuse me, right? O con permiso mm -hmm. en Spanish. Respet respetuoso. Nah, yeah, that's, that's all that is part of a good etiquette, right? To say thank you. To say goodbye, to greet your, your co-workers, to greet your family in the mornings, especially, right? For example, like, let's see, Ana Maria, do you say good morning to your to your mother when, when you wake up? Do you greet? Yeah. Them? Ah, you see? Yeah. That is part of a yeah. good etiquette. Mm -hmm. So everything that happens in our life or everything that we do, is part of a good etiquette. Mm -hmm. There you go. O sea, que, por ejemplo, porque sí, ahí me veía como yo también me había, estaba como, eh, porque esta es una como norma de etiqueta, podría decirse. Exactly, ¿Ya? exactly. Okay. A mm -hmm. way how you behave. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. etiquette that you have in your house is different from the one that you have in your work. Work from the yeah. fun that you have with your friends. Okay, mm -hmm. that's very different. Remember that we don't act in the house, we don't act the same as in our workplace. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, we it's different. different. We got different behavior and different etiquette when we are with our friends, right? That's completely different. Okay, and the ethic yeah. that with your boss. It's really different, like the one that you have with your co-workers, right? And so that's part of a good etiquette. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a good etiquette includes everything, everything in this aspect, right? Okay, let's continue with this. So this is just part, okay? A vocabulary applied as good etiquette vocabulary that you already know. An example, you say thank you for different aspects, right? When a person like, like, like ask you to do something, that's part, okay, of a good etiquette, right? When, do, uh, ever, when do you say thank you or when do you thank people? teacher when do you generally say thank you ever i think give me a situation uh, when some someone made me one favor uh -huh. and i i say thank you no <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 yeah all right, that, that, that's one of uh, <laughs> one way, all right, to say thank you. All right, good, Ever. All right, when we ask for favors, okay, when we ask for uh, somebody to do something, okay, that is, that is a, the right moment to say thank you, right? Another one, please, did you include this, this, this word when you ask for a favor? Sara? Do you include the word please when you ask for a favor? Cuando usted pide un favor o solicita algo, Sara, do you include the word please? Por favor. Yeah. Yes? Yes. 
All right, besides your work, Sara, besides your work, aparte de su trabajo, uh, do you say or do you mention this work with friends? Um, amigos. Ajá. Aparte de su trabajo, cuando pide un favor a un amigo o algo a un amigo o amistad, generalmente suele aplicar eh, eh, esta this phrase. Sí. Sí. Yes. 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 Ah, a mis hijos también. Ah, <laughs> right. So you're so your your family. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That's that's really cool. So that's part of a good etiquette, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's another one. Excuse me. Okay. That's another one. All right. That's really another one. And also, when we meet new people, let's suppose you have new co-workers in the place where you work. You can include. Nice to meet you as a way of greeting that person or that or, or those people. Okay. All right. That's part of a good etiquette for us. And also, like, request something very, very cautiously. For example, may I use this computer? Ya cuando usamos may en una pregunta para algo que estamos solicitando pidiendo usar, generalmente usamos may. ¿Por qué? Porque es un tanto más formal que, que los demás. Like, may I use this computer? Like, ¿puedo usar esta computadora? So, may is likely a synonym of can, right? Solo que can es un tanto más informal. Se puede decir, can I use this computer? ¿Ok? Pero acá como estamos queriendo ser un poco más cortés, ¿ok? More educated. So, we can say, may I use this computer? All right, that's part of a good etiquette, as I told you. So let's imagine if I ask you, hey people, may I? No, 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 no. May you, in this case, may you turn on your cameras? So see, that's, that's part of a good etiquette. <laughs> I'm just applying that. Okay, let's continue. Check this out. Activity. Mm, nah. This activity, we're going to leave it at the end. Esta actividad la vamos a dejar para el final, right? Because it's part of what we got in the previous thing. Now, if you got your uh, manuals, all right, printed, take them out, please. Vamos a trabajar en el manual. If you got them in there, take them out. If you got them in PDF, open them up, all right, in your phone. I'm going to stop sharing this part. And I'm going to start sharing the, the, the manual. Give me a second. Where do I go? Where? Yes. So let's go to page 35. That's the page where we are going to be working on. 35. No. Ah? No, iba a pasar lista. Ah, ¿qué hora, qué hora es? Un minuto. Ay, my God, ya, ya casi son las nueve. Ah. Ya son las diez, he dicho. <risa> no me la idea. Eh, Eric, qué bárbaro. Qué valor, Eric, qué valor, qué valor, Eric. <risa> no, yes, you're right. Voy a pasar lista primero, prácticamente ya son las nueve. Y había perdido la noción de la, del tiempo. <risa> Creí que eran las ocho y media. Okay, we're going to pass the attendance list and then we're going to continue with this, okay? Give me a second. Okay, let's start up with Ana Claribel. Hmm, not here. Ana Maria. Present. Okay, Diana Gabriela. Present. Okay. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Perfect. Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay. Great. Fatima Alejandra. Present. All right. Jody Dalia is not here. Elmar Cruz. Present. All right. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Perfect. Carla Benacer. Present. Okay. Natalie Vanessa. Present. 
Now, okay. Let's see, Luis Dilemma. Oh, yeah, are you there? <laughs> okay, it's not there. Romeo Alexis? Present teacher. Okay. Are you home, Romeo? Are you in your house already? Ah, sí, yeah, sí. Yeah, yes, I is. Okay, yes. Okay, let's see, Rosa del Carmen. Hey, Rosa is not, is not here. Right? Okay. And I thought she was about to connect. Roxana and Yesenia. Ah. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Roxana. Ay, Nubia, coming. Hmm. Ya le había puesto in asistencia, Nubia. Imagínese el teacher, Nubia, que usted le dice que pase lista y después no está. Y, y después dice, dice que y no. no fui por un yogur. Y de paso le pongo in asistencia. <laughs> Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Stephanie Lisette. Present. Ah, is here already? Hey, qué calladita ha venido. Bien calladita está. Ah, yes. Quizá la regañar, mire, ni la cámara encendida. Okay, let's see. Ni también dicen que más para el diablo que bien les Qué malo. Qué malo. Diablo le dijeron, mire, teacher. Le voy a quitar la asistencia ahorita. William. No. Okay, thank you, Mister. Let's see, Joanny. Ah, Joanny is not here, man. And the last one, Stephanie Janet. Present. No, okay, perfect. Okay, good. Let's go on with the things that we're gonna have in here. So I go, I mean, I want everybody to go to page 35. So today we're gonna start up. It says, I will be able to provide written and other instructions on etiquette at the workplace. What are we gonna do in this part? We are going to read. Ah, this is my favorite part. What are we gonna do, people? We're gonna read everything. And how are we gonna do it? Listen, lo voy a leer una vez by myself. Luego de leerlo, ustedes seleccionen las palabras con las cuales ustedes sean desconocidas, okay? Or you don't know. And then let me know. Después de la lectura, me lo hacen saber. Luego lo vamos a leer, pero ya de manera individual. How come? Cada uno me va a leer una parte. That's the way how we're gonna be doing. Because this is, is kind of uh, long, the reading. So let's pay attention because I am going to read once. It says, good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important. When you have to communicate with employees or clients, 
in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge. Listen, knowledge of the workplace email etiquette. Give me a second. Of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, in addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Okay? Be polite when you talk to your employees. Okay? Or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid grown interpretations. Okay? It says, Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you show. So you should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Future promotion. Okay. All right, people. From here, do you have any questions related to vocabulary? Yes. Give yeah. lines. You're sí. right. You're right. What is it? 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 You're right. You're right. Is like, like you're, you're That's correct. Divine. Like in here? Uh, Está en el primero acá? Yeah, no, uh, there are yeah. many word points. Etiquette. Ah, this one. Guidelines. 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 Mean, uh -huh. Guidelines means pautas. Okay, that's the word. However, however, sin embargo, however. Teacher in knowledge. Knowledge means conocimiento. Okay. Yes, about something. Reason. Reason. Razón. 
causa. Ah, ok. Teacher. Yes. Uh, how do you say grammatical? Grammatically? Or where is it? Grama. I think it's like in here, right? By this part. Ah, grammatically. 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 Yes. Grammaticalmente. Grammatically. Grammatically. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh -huh. Concise. Creo que. Ajá. Uh -huh. Me la robó. <laughs> Esa quería yo. Arriba de gramática. Arriba. Ah, concise. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is concise for you? Conciso. Precise. Uh -huh. What should be? Uh, lowly wise. Where is that? Um, the second size. Let me check. Is it, is it, is it, read it. Read it again, please. And in in paragraph, the second line. This one in this paragraph. No, no, no. no. The el último paragraph. Para the last one. This. The last paragraph. This one. Sí, and the second line and lovely while. Ah, when you're no, in under finish. Ah, uh, this one then. No, um, more, more, more. This one. Loudly, why? Loudly, why? Ah, loudly. Do not talk loudly. Oh. Loudly means que no hable muy fuerte. All right. Ah. Do not talk loudly. Loudly is fuerte, alto. While eating, mientras come. While significa mientras. Ah, okay. Yes. Any other word of vocabulary that we got here? Shoe. Which one? Ah, shoe. Shoe uh -huh. is, is this. Like when you're eating and you're like, that is shoe, the action. Ah, okay. What is that? Masticar. 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 That is true. Very good. Any other word from here that we have problems with? That we might have Eric, problems? Eric dijo una. Eric? What was it? Puso en el chat. Ah, it's it. En el chat. Ah. Sí, en el chat de puesto, teacher. Que estaba leyendo y ahí la iba apuntando. All right. Shoe, yeah, masticar. Commerce. Mm -hmm. eh, commerce is like a person. Generalmente es cuando una persona llega a un lugar. O viene a un lugar, ok? Commerce, que está viniendo, right? En ese caso se refería a los trabajadores. Cuando llegan al trabajo, tarde. Commerce is like, los que vienen tarde, generalmente. Ok, thank you, teacher. Those are commerce. Teacher, ¿y manners? manners? Manners, maneras, formas. Good manners. Ok. Yes. Good manner and good etiquette is likely the same. Tiene siendo casi lo mismo. Because it's the way how you act in situations. Okay. Any other word that you might have problems with? Fatima, Natalie, Romeo. Any other word? Teacher, ahí donde dice, um, en el párrafo donde dice, quiero ver, um, donde dice el inicio, in addition. In addition. Al final, hay una, ajá, al final hay una palabra donde dice avoid. Avoid, avoid, avoid es evitar. But let me see. We have to see some in the place. Because... En el último rengloncito está. Avoid wrong interpretation. This one, avoid? Ah, yeah. When you speak to avoid wrong interpretation, yeah, avoid is evitar. Avoid okay, evitar. Wrong interpretation, right? Interpreta Malas interpretación, right? That's why you have to let other people talk. 
Okay. Hey Rosa, are you there? Rosa Enrique. Hi, teacher. Ah, yeah, it's Rosa. <laughs> I thought it was not you. Okay, good. Any other uh, any other question related to pronunciation or translation? No. Okay, good. Let's start our reading by, or by ourselves. What are we gonna do? Let's read again. But in this case, we're gonna do it one by one. Let me see how many we are. 18 people. Okay, we're gonna start now. Nubia, let's start reading, please. Read from there are up to office. Okay. There are many, many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important be to Okay, Hilmar, follow up the reading. Hasta el next. Okay. That. Similar. Okay. If you are, if you are late because you have an emerging, that is okay. No, okay, good. Eric? However, a bit too late, commerce are never appreciated in any organization. Okay, very good. Let's see, Ana Maria, continue. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible. 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 Sigo. Yes. And you respect the organizations. Okay. If you know, is okay. Yeah, to the point. Respect the organization. Good. Natalie, continue. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline Guide will one. be Guide guide, guideline will be to call that concerner. Concern. concern authority and report the reason we you are late why you are why late. you are late okay thank you natalie carla continue etiquette is also important when you have to communicate you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, Mrs. Janet. In those cases, cases, uh -huh. in those cases, in those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other countries. Okay, thank you. Let me check. Salvador, continue the reading. And the official made to needs to mention job the subject clearly and be concise. All right, and be concise. Thank you, Salvador. Ever, continue the reading. Okay. Like an narrator of National Geographic. <laughs> uh, concise or no? Yes, continue from you there. Are, you also need to include. Include? Include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically, gram, grammatically correct language for emails. Okay, thank you. Diana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, continue. Uh, sería in. Uh -huh. 
Okay. In addition, co is no knowledge. Perdón. Knowledge. Knowledge of uh -huh. telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. Essential. Uh -huh. Sigo. Yes. Continue. We have to speak on the cell phone at the some point during our daily work. Okay, thank you. Stay there. Fatima. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say careful and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to a boy or interpretation. Okay, thank you. Interpretation. Interpretation. Okay, very good. William, follow up the reading, please. Okay. Etiquette gaily are important even when you celebrate with the co-worker. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then recite the call. Receive the call. Receive the call. Okay, thank you, William. Uh, okay. Let's see, Sarah, continue, please. John Chinese wife, I think I remember to cross your mouth when you chat. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, Mrs. Urrutia. Uh, you should remember that you be Javier. Behavior. And Maynard. Ah, behavior. And Maynard, are you under observation? Okay, thank you. Romeo, finish it. Following. Following etiquette. Give Dennis. Guidelines. Comply. Come on. Guidelines. Guidelines. Comply. I'm very. Vital. Vital. Call for, come on. Vital, uh huh. Vital. Roll for future promotion. For future promotions. Thank you, Romeo. Okay, very good. What are we going to do with this information? Now, we are going to start this. Give me a second. Give me a second. This is this. This is a series of, of questions related to the reading. It says, if you know you are late, you should. This is part of having a good etiquette. Okay. Example, if you know that you are late, you should. It says, A, compensate the time. B, call the person you report to. C, do, I mean, not do anything about it. Hmm. What would you do in this case, people? Choose A, B, or C. In my case, uh, letter, letter B C? and letter A. A. A and B. A and B. Really? A and B? But what happened if you, if, if, if the problem, for example, is a car accident and you know that you have to start the, the work at eight and you finish at four, will you compensate that time? ¿Compensarían ese tiempo después de las cuatro? O a la hora del trabajo se lo justifican. Let's go to home. <laughs> Romeo says yes. <laughs> Romeo. Ah, okay. All right. In a somehow you can do it, but come on. Mo most of us, what we do is like call and report what happened, okay, and then like like try to do something, okay. 
in a somehow to compensate that. Simplemente trabajamos un tanto más rápido para compensar el tiempo. Isn't it? I think, I, I think most of you do it, right? Yeah, and, and, and you don't compensate it at, at, at all with time, with time, okay? So this is gonna be up to you. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do with this information? Listen. So we got four, we got four. Les voy a dar, let me see, one, two, three, four. Les voy a dar tres minutos, nah, too much. Dos minutos para que lo complementen. Escojan una de las oraciones o de las posibles respuestas a cada una de las preguntas, all right? Just choose A, B, or C from the other ones. For example, number two says, what is a tip to apply in official emails? We got send the email in English, use a long situation, express the subject clearly. Ahí ustedes me van a decir cuál es cojo. Next, which is not a good etiquette when talking on the phone? It's not, okay? Remember, this is the opposite. Speak using clear voice. Interrupt other speaker. Use polite language. What is the one that you should not use? Ya me lo van a decir. Number four. If you receive a call while you're eating, eating with coworkers, you should A, ignore the call and continue eating. B, answer the call at the table. C, leave the table and answer the call. So, just let me know when you finish. Just let me know when you finish. Teacher, ¿qué fue, qué fue lo que vamos a hacer? Perdón. Apaga eso, apaga eso. Okay, now, listen. Simplemente vamos a leer las preguntas y me va a escoger una de las tres posibles respuestas que tiene ahí. Ok, according to you. Pero de cuándo está escuchando. Este, este. Ajá. Mire, este, pasando a otra cosa. Que no la entiendo, ¿verdad? No entiendo, es que se acaba de entender ahorita. Pero es que no otra cosa. Mire cómo puedo hacer para... Es que sí, es que me robaron el teléfono ayer. Entonces, este es otro que he comprado. Pero estaba pidiendo el link. Entonces, Ay. para hacer las tareas, ya llegué oh. ahora. Ay, qué triste. That's really sad. Ah, <risa> pero... <risa> Pero llevaba contraseña en everything. Eh, Andaba con contraseña ¿qué? el teléfono. Ah, sí. Eso no lo van a poder desbloquear. Nah, ok, cool. Now, listen. Eh, no sé si ha introducido el mismo, el mismo, el mismo correo que tenía en el teléfono anterior a su nuevo teléfono. De ahí puede sí. crear una copia de seguridad. Para comenzar en WhatsApp, puede crear una copia de seguridad. Eh, digamos, si ya tenía una copia de seguridad anteriormente, simplemente lo que haga es introducir en, y ya le restablecen parte de los mensajes que tenía anteriormente. Y con respecto a ello, recuerda el, 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 la contraseña que puso en la plataforma, ¿cierto? Pues sí, la misma que... Una... Eh, claro, sí. Entonces, simplemente... Acuérdense que como usuario creo que, si no me equivoco, es el, es el correo, ¿ok? El correo que usted proveó a la, a la empresa, ese es el usuario. Y la contraseña, si no la ha cambiado, es la genérica. Y si la cambió, pues usted supongo que ya la recuerda. Simplemente ahí y no le cambia nada. Puede abrirlo la plataforma de cualquier dispositivo. No problem. ¿Y me puede mandar el link? Eh, ah, ya, yeah. ok. Ama, ama, de hecho, se lo voy a mandar acá. It's... Online. I think it's like this. Give me a second. I'm gonna I'm going to corroborate the information. Okay. Mm 
it's funny. Sometimes I forget. Let me see. El de Aquaman me hace suspirar. Yes, agua. Okay. El de Aquaman me hace suspirar. No he visto la película Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is that? <laughs> okay, interesting. La hace suspirar. Huh? Good. Si me volviese a casar, quizás podría ser algo así. Lo que podría elegir. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ana María. Interesting. ¿Qué ha tomado ahora, Ana María? Creo algún que medicamento no, para el dolor del pie. <risa> ok, that's too much. Hey, Eric, no sé así, hombre. Ok, let's continue. No, no, no. Pa paréntesis, paréntesis. De etiqueta, do dos preguntas de etiqueta. Ajá, ajá. La número uno, me contesta, me contesta después Ana María. ¿Cómo siguió? Bien. La número, va, qué bueno. La número dos. En la actividad del día de antier, este, me tocó con Sara. Y ella me comentó que ayer, el día de ayer no se iba a poder conectar porque tenía una reunión, porque estaba cumpliendo años. Así es que como este, ah, no, se pudo, no nos pudimos conectar ayer, ahora le decíamos feliz cumpleaños. Ah, feliz cumpleaños. Ay, gracias. Ay, gracias. Gracias. Yo pensé sí, que le iba a cantar, Eric. Eh, sí, yo también dije, no va a ser cantar. Ya ve por qué no funcionan las normas de etiqueta. Nunca queda bien uno. <risa> ah, man. Send the happy birthday a uh, uh, song to, to, to the group. <risa> ok, no, but, but congratulations. A mí me cantan. Cuando sé el mío, me cantan. Vamos a poner la de Cepillín. No, pero le podemos cantar y que Eric dirige el grupo. Podemos hacer el coro. Exactly, exactly. All right, no, but, but happy birthday, Sara. Right. Sí, muchas gracias, bendiciones a todos. Yeah. Sí, feliz yeah. cumpleaños, que Dios feliz lo bendiga. Y le desee, y le, ay, ¿cómo es? Cumpla todos los deseos de su corazón. Ay, amén. Muchas gracias. Ay, ay. Yeah. El de Ana Ok, Él todavía no es y quizás ni vamos a estar estudiando. Es en septiembre. Let's continue. Ah, no, yo, le, yo me refería al deseo, Ana María. El mío ya pasó, Ay, Eric. Y no lo saludó, ¿verdad? My God. ¿Y cuándo, cuándo cumplió años? Oh, eh? chica. My God. El 18. Okay. 18 de agosto. Agosto. No, no dijo, ah, no, 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 como usted solo dice, a Eric pregúntele, a Eric pregúntele, pero no dice, mire Eric, estoy cumpliendo años. <risa> Felicidades. Sí, no sí. Gracias. Sí, we're going to see each other next year, para, para el próximo, el otro año. Yeah. Vamos. Let's, let's para octubre, that, para octubre. Let's go on that list. <risa> yeah, in my case too. In my case, too. Okay, let's continue, people. Let's continue. Uh, Ever, read number two, please, and tell me which one did you choose? Okay. Um, what is a tip to apply in official emails? Mm -hmm. I put them, um, let us see, express the subject clearly. Nah, okay, express the subject clearly. Who else it has the same as ever? Who else? Raise your, your finger, raise your finger. And who got differently? ¿Quién tiene algo diferente a lo que tiene ever? Nobody? Nah, okay. Yeah, that's the correct one. Like the most appropriate one. Why? Because it says, hey, send the email in English. Imagínese si el jefe no sabe inglés or the other person doesn't know English. Not nah, right. Not, 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 not good. Uh, use long uh, salutation. No, vamos a saludar de manera larga, yeah, okay, uh, to, 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 to the customer or the client or, or the boss or whatever, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like, 
Nah, some teacher. So letter C is the most appropriate one. Express the subject clearly. Okay, let's go to number three. Hmm, hmm. William, read number three, please. William? Okay, uh, which, which is no good etiquette when talking on the phone? Uh -huh. Which one did you choose, William? The, the letter B. Letter B. Ah, okay. Who else agree, William? ¿Quién más está de acuerdo con William? Y puso esa. Eric, Carla, Nuria, everybody. Ah, okay, very good. Yes, that's, that, that is the one that we don't have to follow because it's the negative aspect. I speak using clear voice, I mean, that's something good. Uh, use polite language, that's even something good, right? So the bad thing in there, or that one that is no good etiquette is interrupt the other speaker, like interrumpir a alguien que esté hablando. Thank you, William. Okay, let's see who else. Natalie, read number four. If you receive uh, a call, if you receive uh, a call with your eating with co-workers, you should. Mm -hmm. What is your answer? Um, yo puse letter C. Ready, Natalie? Sí, teacher. Sí o no? Read it, Natalie. Read, read, read. Leave the table uh -huh. and answer the call. Nah, okay. Who else agree, Natalie? Nubia, uh -huh. Eric. Who got something different? ¿Quién tiene algo diferente? A esa respuesta. Ever? Yo, number four. Ah, okay, all right. Let's start with Jonathan. Jonathan, what do you have? Ignore the call and continue eating. Ah, okay. That's something appropriate in some cases. Very good. Ever? Which one do you have? ¿Cuál tenía usted, Ever? I put on the letter A to ignore the call and continue eating. Nah, okay. In a song, that shows polite. All right, to be polite in something. Nah, okay. Yeah, in that case, both of them looks very appropriate. In some cases, okay? In some cases. For example, if you know, listen, if you know, it can be an emergency, but a really, really, really hard emergency, so you can answer the phone, okay? But if it is a call from, from people that you know, like friends or coworkers that you got there, so you can not answer the phone and continue eating, all right? Entonces ahí equivalen las, do, las dos, dos aspectos. Si creen que de verdad es una emergencia, you can answer the phone, right? Say, all right, I'm sorry, I have to answer. Stand up and answer. But if not, ignore the call, continue eating. And when you finish eating, you can call again to that person, all right? That's the most appropriate one. Very good, let's continue. I want, I want we to go straight here because this is part of what we got. Let me see how many people are we right now? 18. Hmm. Okay, good. Vamos a crear grupos de, nah, vamos a trabajar en parejas porque estamos 18. Okay, cool. 
What are we going to do? Look, prayer work. We're going to do this part. It says, you are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance. Write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Okay. This is the, the, the homework that we got right now, the, the activity that we're going to have right now. En parejas. Ok, en parejas, supongan que ustedes son los gerentes generales de la empresa, ok, y van a mandar a, una, a un grupo de personas, de trabajadoras, a otra, ok, empresa, to create an alliance, alright, to create something, ok, lo que quiere es que creen una etiqueta, alright, something, a good etiquette for that group of people that you're sending, ok, to there. ¿Cómo deben comportarse? ¿Qué deben hacer? ¿Qué no deben hacer? That's the one that you have to discuss and write them down. ¿Dónde lo vamos a anotar? Para los que tienen el manual, write it down in here. This one. This one. The first one. Ya tenemos una acá. Look. Greet everyone in the facilities. Ok. Esa es una que ya está hecha. All right. Greet everyone in the facilities. By the way, do you know what is facilities? Por cierto, no es facilidades. ¿Qué significa facilities? En este caso. Mantenimiento. Ah, uh, kind of, kind of like that. All right. Facilities in this case significa instalaciones. Okay. Instalaciones from another place. All right. Or the company. That is facilities. Okay, do we understand what we are going to do? Entendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Or do you have any question? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de irnos a trabajar? Teacher, yo no le logré comprender qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Okay, what we're going to do is to create, Rosana, to create an etiquette guideline. Vamos a crear okay, parte de una etiqueta que es los trabajadores Deben seguir, ok, cuando ellos vayan y visiten esa otra compañía para crear una alianza. All right. Acá tenemos una o parte de la etiqueta que ellos deben usar. Greet everyone in the facility. Saludar a todos en las instalaciones. Es parte, all right, that's part of a good etiquette. Ok, vamos a crear otras más. We're going to do five more, all right? Only with five more. And you're going to explain them each one of them, okay? Por eso lo vamos, vamos a trabajarnos en uh, pareja. Okay, now, give me a second. I'm gonna stop sharing. And then we're going to work in pairs. Give me a second. I'm gonna create the groups. So if we are 18, 9, 9, 9, 9, okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. No, okay. Let's give it a set, please. And let's go to work. Accept, accept the, 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 the assignment, please. Doctor. Entonces, Hi people, do you have any question? Como... Uh, sí, este, todo. <laughs> ¿Cómo fue, Jonathan? Eh, todo, eh, me pregunto todo, cómo. No, vaya, esta etiqueta es como describir al grupo que uno va a enviar a, vaya, hacia otro okay, lugar. Okay. Ajá, no, listen, listen, Jonathan. 
Usted y Romeo son los gerentes generales de la compañía, right? From the company. Sí. Y ustedes van a mandar a un grupo de trabajadores a otra compañía para crear una alianza, ¿ok? Uh -huh. In there, ¿tienen el manual en PDF o impreso? En PDF. Impreso. Ah, cool, cool. En la parte ahí ya le aparece a usted una de, de, de la sección de etiquetas, Etiquet Manual Gear, ya le aparece la primera opción o la primera forma que en cómo sus trabajadores deben comportarse. Greet everyone in the facilities. Ahora bien, ¿qué otras reglas de etiqueta deben tener sus trabajadores para comportarse en esa otra empresa? Ayudar aunque no quieran. <laughs> All right. So, in that case, that, that, that's, that's, a, that's a way. All right. En como una regla. <laughs> uh, good presentation. Ah, ok. That have a good presentation. Very good. Ajá, y ahí sería otra. Help me. Mm. That would be like, like Romeo says, right? Entonces, esas son las, las, las good etiquettes that they have to do. You see? Like to, say, okay. like to say thank you for any favor received. Like to say please, to say to greet. Okay, like, like things like that. All right? Okay. Very good. I might check another group in here. Esa es la que podríamos ver. ¿Verdad? Teacher. Hello. Ya llegó. <laughs> Estábamos hablando con Fátima que una ah. recomendación que podríamos hacer es que todos los coworkers lleguen temprano, ¿verdad? That's, a, that's one, yes. Mm -hmm. Ya, esa podría ser una. Y la otra sería que... Espérenme que ando buscando el manual. <ríe> Porque yo no lo tengo impreso para variar. No, look for it. Let me know if you have it. If not, I can send it, resend it to you. Uh, to the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. En que, en, ¿ah? en el que puso de, el manual está en mm -hmm. el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, sí, ahí lo tengo. Arriba el, el temprano. Otra. Y de ahí podríamos ver PRM. Permítame. Todavía está el teacher. Sí. <ríe> teacher. Hello. Ya le pusimos. Ya dijimos una. And I said yes, it's good. Vaya. Ya arriba el early. Y de ahí quiero ver qué otra más. Eh, ¿Qué otra recomendación podríamos hacer, Fal? Sería ser responsable con su trabajo. Be responsible with, with their, work. With their work. With qué, perdón? Their work. Uh, their work, uh -huh. Yes, very good. That's another one. <laughs> They must have a good look. Ah, es como la presentación. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's another También one. También podría ser que se respeten el, el respeto entre los Be respectful. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's another one. Very good. <laughs> Co-workers. Mm -hmm. Y vamos a ver acá...
este, llegar temprano, responsabilidad en el trabajo, el respeto entre los compañeros. Eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Si es another one, si es another one, think, think on that. ¿Cuántas eran? Las que aparecen en el manual ahí. Five, five more. Creo que es five, five, uh -huh. five, five, five more. Yes, uh -huh. five more. Falta think, una. Yeah, think about them. Uh -huh. In the meantime, I'm going to check another group. Okay. Okay. Es la... Y en la... Yo digo que en las seis podría... Podría you, ser... Are you about to finish? Ya la última. Una no falta tu Excellent. <laughs> ok, I'm going to check another group then. Ok, teacher. Hola, teacher, ¿me escucha? Ah, yes, yes, ahí lo sentí. Ah, Ay, qué mentiroso. <risa> <risa> es que dice Rosa que ya no me escucha. Rosa. Por eso sí, por chat lo estamos haciendo, porque no sé, dice ella que no me escucha. Me sigo a... Ahora, 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 ahora. Teacher, Ajá. esta de be puntual, puntual, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Puntual. Pun, pu, ¿Cómo? Puntual. Puntual. To the meeting podría ser una. Yes. Ok, y la otra que yo he hecho es control the character if you do not agree on something. Como controlar, como controlar el carácter, si no se está de acuerdo en algo. Ah, ok. Control de, de, okay. the okay The character yeah, if so you do not yeah, agree yeah. on something. No, ok, very good. That's another one. Very good. Okay. Hey, Rosa didn't answer. Rosa, are you there? Rosa... Is Rosan texting you, Natalie? Bien raro porque dice que no me escucha. Por eso pensé que no me escuchaba usted tampoco. No, I, I listen to you. Okay, Rosa, are you there? Rosa, are you there? I'm going to text her on, on, on the group. Yeah, because she, she, she must listen. But apparently she, she, she doesn't look like she's there. Okay, in the meantime, uh, let, let's continue with, uh, with, uh, with the list that you have, Natalie, okay? Uh, let's see if she, if she answered the phone. Cinco eran, verdad, teacher? Hola? Cinco eran, verdad? Yes, five. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. All right, go for it. To make some rules about proactive teacher. Hello. Correct us, please. All right. I do one sentences, pero no sabemos si está bien. A knowledge of the subject of alien to do. Knowledge? Knowledge of the subject of aliens to do. No, okay. Uh -huh. Knowledge. It's right. Yeah, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. At the beginning. Mm. Okay, thank you. And the last one, William. One sentence, one, the proactive. That would be proactive in... In the one case, in, one case in a specific or... Call the time. Let's think on it. Yeah. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to be checking in the group. 
Eh, teacher. Ajá. How do you say procurar? But in what procurar. aspect? In what aspect? How do you want to use it? Como procurar eh, lo que queremos decir, o lo que quiero decir es procurar ser proactivo. No, that stands to be proactive. Or like, 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 but procurar es como intentar, ¿cierto? Mm -hmm. Con procurar, ajá, es como intentar, intentar en algunas ocasiones en específico, procurar, procurar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be like try. Try to be proactive. But actually... Try uh -huh. try, to, try to be proactive, but in this case, ever it would be better for you if you say be proactive only because that's concise, concise. Y ahí ya lo está diciendo con un tanto más de autoridad, right? Porque si tiene eso de procura, de eso de try, no es, es como que es opcional hacerlo mm. o no. En cambio, si dice be proactive, like with secure. In the case where you are telling that person or that group of people that they have to do it. That is, that is what, what the rules to comply. To, exactly. To comply. Is that okay. part of the rules to comply? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. There you go. That will be. Yes. Hello, Hi, people. You finished? Yes. Nah, okay, very good. There you go. So I don't, I, 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 there's no reason for me to stay here then. I'm going to check another group. Okay. Okay. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing with the homework? The activity actually. Do you finish? Para poner respetar, mire, eso es lo que le quería consultar, teacher. Ajá, tell ¿Verdad me. que eh, me dice, me dice Sara de que las etiquetas son como normas que, eh, o sea, que tiene la empresa o algo así? Eh, no era actually normas, sino la manera en cómo usted debe comportarse. Viene siendo como, uh -huh. ajá, maneras, formas. Mm. Yes, what you have to do and what you don't have to do. For example, one rule is like help others, ayudar a otros. That's one mm -hmm. of them. Greet everyone, saludar a todos, right? Be polite. O sea, que polite is like como cortés, o sea, educada. Be kind. Mm -hmm. Don't interrupt others, no interrumpa a otros eh, cuando hablan. So that, that, that is a good, that's, that is part of a good etiquette. Oh my God. Yes. Que, que, uh, nosotros en, pues, como que yo le, bueno, le entendí como que íbamos a, ir a, íbamos a ir de visita a otra instalación, digamos, a otra empresa. Uh -huh. Y que llevábamos un, un grupo o, o teníamos que... Entonces, uh -huh. dentro de una de esas habíamos puesto, no sé si, bueno, eh, utilizar el, el respectivo uniforme, eh, igual, ¿verdad? No interrumpir también, no usar el teléfono en las horas mientras vamos a la... Ajá, don't use the phone while working. Uh -huh. no, ok, very uh -huh. good. De igual, eh, no comer en las horas laborales. No, ok. Very good. That's part of it. Yeah. Usar el vocabulario apropiado. Just a prop ok, very good. That's just uh -huh. appropriate vocabulary. That is part of it. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. I think we're gonna, we're gonna eh, like, read all the... La última que se vamos a respetar es lo de la... Ajá. Yeah, that could be another one, right? Very good. So basically, you've got the six of them already, right? 
Ya tienen las seis prácticamente. Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I think we're going to move on to the main section. Okay, and uh, let's see what happens, okay? See you in the main section. <laughs> yes, that little voice. That bueno, y no se conectó a todos los grupos porque el grupo eh, que estaba yo, no It's ni... because of the time, Eric, because of the time. Ah, uh, okay. But okay. I guess, I guess you have already finished, right? Se olvidó de nosotros, teacher. Vaya, vaya, y está Diana también reclamando, ya ve. Yes. <laughs> like very, very, uh, how can I say this? Not impatient, but very, nah, you're very kind people. <laughs> kind people. All right, now listen, did, did everybody finish? Yes. Yeah, I, I, yes. Yeah, because I just entered to the yes. groups that probably you got uh, problems with. Jonathan, how about you and Romeo? Did you finish? Yes. Okay, perfect. Rosa, did you? <laughs> I was trying to connect to Rosa. What happened, Rosa? Did, did you work with Natalie? Sí. Yes. Nah, okay, good. All right, did you? Sorry. Did you, <laughs> did you, did you finish? Sí, teacher. ¿Qué le pasa si no terminamos? <laughs> Okay, that's that's what do I wanted to listen. Ah, uh, you're finished already. I guess Diana, you did it too, right? You finished, Diana? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Now listen, what are we gonna do? Because of the time, and I don't want you to be here for a long time. Uh, you know, like like to respect your time. We're gonna read all that tomorrow at the beginning of the section, okay? We're gonna read all that tomorrow at the beginning of the class. So, espero tenerlos a todos mañana en la próxima clase. Mañana sería la, el último día de la semana tres, no de la semana completa, okay? Sino de la semana tres. Uh, mañana terminaríamos, ahora hubiésemos terminado, pero por la situación de que no pudimos estar ayer, eh, no lo hicimos ese día, sino mañana. Eh, a favor, before we go, un favorcito antes de irnos. Por favor, para mañana, please, please, se los agradecería un montón, pero un montón, de veras, que me termine la, hasta la tarea 5, ¿ok? Que me terminen las tareas de la, de la uh, semana 3. Ajá, exactly. I'm, I'm taking account from, from, from week three, from one to five. Pero sí, ya en regla general sería tarea 15. So please, para mañana sería hasta la tarea 15, porque mañana estaríamos dando finalización entonces a la semana 3. Y ya nos quedaríamos como la, con la semana 4 para terminarla el próximo jueves. ¿Ok? El próximo jueves ya sería ya la combinación de, de módulo. Así que mañana... Antes de medianoche necesito enviar, ok, esas, esas notas al Insafor. So, please, si, si vamos retrasados y no quieren que me, tenerme ahí como, like, all the time, like, please do the homework, please do the homework. So, let's, let's, let's do it, ok. Sí, porque va a ser que me apaguen el teléfono y no me quieran contestar. Así que, nada, right, nada, avoid that. So, eh, let's do that. Y mañana entonces, al comenzar la clase, leeríamos parte de lo que tenemos de tarea. Ok? That's it. Any question, people? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. No, ok. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. ok. Marisha. Let's start with the attendance list. Ana María. Present. Ok. Hey, Ana García, director web today. Huh? And uh, Diana Gabriela. Present. Ah, okay. Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Good. Ever de Jesús. Present, teacher. Nice. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay, perfect. Flor Idalia, no here. Hilmar Cruz. Present. 
Very good. Jonathan Alexander. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, Carla Benazir. Present teacher. Very good. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Very nice. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay. Romeo Alexis. Present teacher. Very good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Now, okay, very good. Hey, Rosa, you got your 10 minutes feedback today. Please don't go. <laughs> Roxana Yesenia. Present. Ah, okay, perfect. Salvador Alfonso. Present. All right. Sara Carolina. Present. Very good. Stephanie Lisette. Present. Excellent. William Alberto. Present. Okay, thank you, mister. Mm, Joanny is not here. And the last one, Stephanie Janet. Present. Okay. Perfect, people. So it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye, -bye. Do the homework. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Do the homework. <laughs> I love it. Se le cortado. Haga la tarea, Eric. Bye bye, Nubia. Bless you. <laughs> bye -bye, Nubia. Bless you. <laughs>10 minutes, okay, for you to ask any question that you might have related to the topic from today and the previous topic. Tenemos 10 minutos entonces para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a esta clase y las clases anteriores. So, let me ask you something, Rosa. Do you have any questions related to the topic? Yes, desde ahora. Nah, okay, tell me. What is the question? Ay, Dios, que me resuma la clase, teacher. Es <laughs> <laughs> ya vine oh, bien noche. Ay, es cierto, usted se conectó bastante tarde. Sí. Yeah. All right, Rosa, we were talking about etiquette. What is that, Eddie? Uh, I mean, Rosa, look. We were talking about this. Mm -hmm. Etiquette. But the topic was good etiquette at your workplace. Este era el tema de esta noche. Good etiquette at your workplace. What does it mean? Es básicamente cuando hablamos de good etiquette, estamos hablando de todos aquellos buenos modales o buenas formas que usted tiene en su trabajo. Cómo actúa, all right? How you act. How you behave. Cómo se comporta. Example. ¿Cuáles son las, 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 las etiquetas or the good etiquette que su lugar de trabajo tiene, Rosa? Por ejemplo, uno de ellos, a modo de ejemplo, supongo que eh, han implementado esta parte. Be on time to work. Les piden a todos sus trabajadores que estén a tiempo a la hora de trabajo. Isn't it? ¿O me equivoco? No. Ah, you see, okay. be on time. Be on time. Entonces, eso también... Prácticamente son como reglas. Exactly. Como, como normas que usted tiene que seguir, ¿ok? O normas de comportamiento right, para que todo en su trabajo salga de la mejor manera. All right? Uh, there are like etiquettes uh, uh, applied to work que usted puede utilizar también 
y que le sirven como para ser mejor persona. Por ejemplo, greet other people. All right. Saludar a las demás personas. Do you do that, Rosa? ¿Lo, lo hace? Nice. Y en cada rato. Exactly, right? Entonces, eso es parte of a good etiquette, de una buena etiqueta. Ok. About something, de una buena manera. Ah, ok, besides this one, what else do, do you generally do? Aparte de esto, ¿qué más suele hacer en tu trabajo? Como parte of a good etiquette, Rosa. Utilizar cuidar todos los todos los el mobiliario que me ha entregado la empresa. All right. Eh, okay, take care of all the materials. Okay, all right, that's part of a good etiquette. Say, thank you to others. Ah, decir gracias a los demás, that's part of a good etiquette. Entonces, prácticamente esto era lo que estábamos viendo uh, antes de que usted se conectara, all right? Como formas de, que tenemos para, 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 like, you know. To, to, to say that we got a good etiquette. Another one, for example, mm, greet to your co-workers, All right? Um, what else? Don't be rude with others. Ah, no ser descortés con los demás, you see? Be polite. You know what is polite? What is that? Sorry. Be polite is like como ser gentil, ser amable, okay, con los demás. Oh. You see? That is part of a good etiquette. Entonces, esas son parte como reglas, como usted mencionaba, en las cuales uno como persona tiene que aplicar a el lugar donde trabaja, ok, to your workplace, right, so entonces esto es básicamente eh, a lo que nos referíamos con relación ¿no? a la jet etiquette o buena etiqueta, in, in the workplace, right, so besides this one, all right, besides this one, what else can you add in the class, I mean in the work, yeah, in the work, not in the class, ¿Qué más suele practicar usted en su trabajo? ¿Listo está? Sería... Uy, se me fue la imaginación. <risa> no, I mean, what you do every day. Generalmente lo que hace, que hace todos los días. Y que para muchos eso está bien, está correcto, es adecuado. Además de la que ya puse, respetar, respetar a mis compañeros. Uh -huh. Respect the, the, the co-workers. Very good. That's another one. Podría decir que igual ayudar. Ayudarles. Okay. Help my co-workers. Very good. So. All of them are part of a good etiquette. You see, that's what uh, that's what we generally need in these cases. All right. Besides this, do you have any other question related to this? Oh, I don't know if you understood this part, Rosa. No sé si eh, estamos quedando claros un poco con respecto a what is a good etiquette. Sí, está claro. No, okay. Any other question? ¿Tenemos alguna otra pregunta con relación a no. los demás temas? No, solamente esta era la que tenía duda ahora. Rosa. ¿Y en serio le, le robaron el teléfono, Rosa? Sí, tuve que ir a escuchar. 
a mí me flejían más las clases. Mire, para decirle que 15 minutos antes de las 8 me vine a dar cuenta de que no iban a haber clases. Y yo flejía por las clases. En serio. Pues qué mal. Sí. Sí, ayer mismo tuve que comprar uno nuevo. Y aquí a la casa tuve que venir a configurarlo. Uf. Sí, sí, le tocó bien, bien complicado. No, pero como le digo, eh, no sé si anotó el, 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 el link que le mandé. La sección. Sí, ya, ya, ya ingresé, ya pude ingresar. Ah, perfecto, entonces, me alegro. Ajá, y ahí pues prácticamente, like, you can do, like, like Igual, si es que la tarea hasta ahora se la mandé y se tiraba, <risa> porque igual, no me la mandaba sí. yo. Ya, yeah, I noticed that, es cierto. Sí, pero no se preocupe, sí. Ahí, en ese caso sí es like, entendible. Like when that happens. Sí. But, solo queda el susto, como dicen. Sí. Yes. Y el dolor de, de, de todo lo que sí. se fue. No, pues sí, porque ahí pierde casi todo lo que se anda. Like everything. I'm sorry, Blanca. I'm sorry, Rosa. Pero ni modo. Like, That's part of life. <laughs> Sometimes. Ok, Rosa. No sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta aparte de, de, de lo que hemos estado viendo acá. No, solamente. No, nah, ok. Ok, entonces eh, quedaría a la espera de las tareas. Mañana culminaríamos con la última clase de la semana 3 y mañana igual. Sería la finalización de la tarea 15 para enviar las notas, ok. Ya para quedarnos con la última semana. All right, Rosa? Okay. Perfecto, entonces. Nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ok, bye bye, Rosa.